These are on the violin. And... But, Karen, there's something missing there, isn't there? What would you say? There's no body swing. That's quite right. We have two main directions in our body. We pivot one way and we pivot another. And this corresponds on the violin to... And... The other direction is the swing of the two arms together, which on the violin takes rather this form. And that sounds like this. Now I would like to consider these large motions in greater detail, with particular reference to the knuckles. Now I would like to show you several complete motions on one stroke, both in the left and the right hands at the same time. This we might call a two-hand staccato. As a held note in the left hand requires a stroke in the right hand, the coordination of both hands requires that the release should occur with a shift in the left hand and an almost stoppage in the right hand. This is the way it would look slowly. As the stroke, the individual... Now, when we go back to the E string, if the violin remained at this angle, the bow would be going this way, and the left hand would be far too much around, like that. We restore the angle to this. You may notice that when playing in a lower position, the bow is in a different place between the fingerboard and the bridge than in an upper position. The reason for that is that the bow must always cross the string to make the best sound at a particular proportion of that string's length. As the length shortens, so does its place between the fingerboard and the bridge. Cover twice the distance and would be too wide. So we must never forget that as the distance is narrow between notes as we go up the fingerboard, so does the amplitude of the vibrato adjust itself to the same. Of course, we may want to vibrate very narrowly in a low position in, very, in classical music where we don't want to use too wide a vibrato. We may play very narrowly. in a low position. And again, there may be certain places that shouldn't have any vibrato at all. You remember this motion that we did in the left hand? Because I'm reminded of it by the narrowness of the vibrato, which corresponds with the narrow... Important to collect your thoughts, to free your joints, it brings with it a great sense of calm and is furthermore very good for this coordination. You forget about it when you play, of course. We've come to the end of our general survey of violent playing. Inevitably, many things remain unsaid, even specific things as the throne bow, ricochet, and artificial harmonics. And beyond that, a thousand other exercises I would like to have given you and which I myself will continually evolve and I hope you will evolve on your own as well. Because with the building blocks which we have covered, you should be able to build your own techniques as far as you wish to take them. Violin playing is essentially an art of self-discovery. It...